what is going on guys welcome back to another brand new video today we're going to talk about bitcoin and what it is doing at the moment and what it could possibly do in the future but before we talk about all that technical stuff link in the description and in the first comment pinned comment below to binance.com the world's biggest crypto exchange you can use my link to sign up on binance.com and every time you trade you have to pay a transaction fee but if you use my link to sign up you will get 20 percent discount on all transaction fees so before we move to the charts and take a look at all the price action over the years and all the technical stuff i just want to introduce you guys to something new and you guys some of you might not know about on-chain analysis and some of you might know but if you don't know about it i can do a separate video where i talk about it in detail it's not really much to learn about it's just some metrics that are recorded using blockchain after recording all the metrics and all the data that data is used for different things it can be used to make predictions it can be used to trade some traders i know use on-chain analysis for trading and it's just something that is good to have as an extra confirmation if you are looking for more confluences on-chain ana analysis is definitely a game changer so you guys can use many different websites to access on-chain data for today's video i'm going to use into the blog.com and once you go to into the blog.com you can click on all these coins that they that are available on the page and once you have selected the coin that you want to look at for example we want to talk about bitcoin today so i'm going to click on bitcoin you can see that immediately you have a couple of metrics over here that show you the percentage of uh, people that are in the money at the current price or out of the money or at break even and on the bottom over here it also shows you signals so if you click over here for dive deeper the metrics that are below are only accessible through a pro account and for pro account you have to pay you can either pay monthly or you can pay yearly if you want to choose monthly all you have to do is pay ten dollars per month and you will be given access to all these metrics that are only accessible through on-chain data and it's just a sea of metrics that you can look at it just keeps loading there's so many but i'm not going to confuse you guys with all these uh metrics today we're just going to keep it simple we're going to take a look real quick at what's going on in the markets right now and then we'll jump to the charts where people are probably going to learn in a much easier way so right now the price of bitcoin is at forty three thousand five hundred. let's say right 70 percent people are still in money 70 percent of the people are still in profits where only 24 percent of the people are out of the money so let's say 100 people bought bitcoin 70 people are in profit 24 people are in loss six people bought at the current price and so this tells us that still people are more majority of the people are in the money right now even if the price has crashed drastically still 70 percent people who are holding bitcoin are still in profit now if you look at this metric over here it says holders composition by time held so this is telling you that what percentage of people are holding bitcoin and over how much time of period they have held it for so for example right now you can see 58 percent of bitcoin holders have actually held bitcoin for more than a year and 31 percent people have jumped into the bitcoin world recently anywhere from about 1 to 12 months so within the past year before we move on to the charts i want you guys to take a look at this metric over here with which says global in and out of the money so what this says is basically the number of addresses that are in the money so the number of wallets that are in profit the number of people that are in profit and the number of people who are at break even and the number of addresses or number of people who are out of the money right now who are in a loss so if you guys take a look if i place my cursor over the green circles you guys can see that most of the addresses which is over here 5.73 million addresses which are in profit bought bitcoin around the price of 650 dollars let's say to five thousand dollars and this this mark the five thousand dollar mark is where bitcoin's price skyrocketed it started from five thousand and it jumped to sixty five thousand which was recently one month ago so most of the people who are in profit bought around at this price and this is just an average you guys can see the average price two thousand three hundred dollars 5.73 million addresses bought bitcoin around this price and so the nine million addresses or nine million people let's say who are out of the money who are in loss right now you guys can see 
they they started buying at the $44,000 mark. And these are the people who bought very high. These are the people who I am assuming that did not know much about crypto or Bitcoin or were unaware of its volatility that when it moves, it moves thousands of dollars up. And when it crashes, it crashes thousands of dollars as well. So I'm assuming these are new people, right? Who jumped into the crypto world within the past year where the awareness about the crypto world just skyrocketed and everybody wanted uh everybody wanted a piece of crypto so i'm assuming these people who started buying at the $44,000 mark are out of the money because they just jumped in recently and so enough enough about the on-chain data let's take a look at the charts and before i make any price predictions i want you guys to know that i have to start from the very beginning so we will go back to 2011 where bitcoin saw first of its surge price surge when it just went from about two dollars to ten dollars i think uh fifteen dollars almost and so you guys can see that this surge this price surge was about 594 percent okay and so i am going to compare every percentage of the price surge and then the correction that came right after that price surge so for example the first price surge that we saw was about 594 percent where the market just went up in this one single this is the weekly time frame by the way and then the price and then the price correction that we saw after that 594 percent was about 75 percent okay so when the price went up almost 594 percent it came back down to correct itself at almost 75 percent after that we saw the next price surge which was almost 238 percent and then again we saw a correction of about 43 percent and just like that the next price surge about 2000 percent and a correction of 76 percent and then again a price surge of 876 77 percent and then 87 percent correction 79 percent surge 41 percent correction 100 percent surge 34 percent correction and so you guys can see that every time the market skyrocketed it came back down to correct itself and then continued higher now let's talk about what has what has happened since within the past one year or 13 months starting from april last year till today which is 24th of may and you guys can see what i was talking about earlier the price was at 5300 and it just within one year it went to $65,000 which is insane. So when we saw this price surge or an increase in price by 1100%, now we also need to have a correction. Looking at all these past corrections, 75%, 42%, 87%, 34, 80, 70, you can either predict that the price if for example has a has another 40 percent correction it will be at this point over here at the thirty-eight thousand dollar mark because in the past the price has only had two types of corrections either 40 percent 30 percent or 70 to 80 percent so if you guys take a look at all these price surges and corrections i mainly want to focus on the corrections so the first correction let's say was 75 percent second one 43 75 43 and then 76 again 87 40 34 84 72 and so you guys can see that it's always been within that range either 30 to 40 which was i think once or twice only and then mostly it's 70 to 80 percent correction now let's say we are assuming that the price is going to do 30 to 40 so let's say 40 percent correction so if we take 40 percent it's going to be at the mark of $38,500. Now, if we want to take, let's say we take 75%, not 70, not 80, 75%, it will be around the mark of 16,000, almost $16,400. Let me just make sure you guys can see this. Sorry about that. I didn't realize my camera was covering the price, but the 75% correction equals to price of sixteen thousand four hundred dollars you guys can see almost 75 percent and the uh, the 40 percent equals to or equates to um the thirty eight thousand dollar mark 
Now look, this is just making price predictions on the past data, what has always happened, okay? The best way to make predictions, the best way to learn a strategy is to always practice in the hindsight. Look at the past data, look at the history. Now this is the price prediction part of the video. The last thing I want to talk about is of course Elon Musk. First of all, there were some rumors that Tesla sold a little bit of its Bitcoin, which Elon denied. Recently, he said I, uh, Tesla didn't sell any of the Bitcoin, but yet Tesla bought in Bitcoin at around $50,000 mark. And so anything below that is going to be a loss for them. Now, when a big institution like Tesla steps in or involves itself in this kind of money, they don't mostly they don't let the market crash. OK, even if it does, it's just so that they can buy cheaper. OK, right now people are panic selling. Everybody's just all over the place. People are confused. The new people, the new traders that don't know what's happening. Everybody's selling even if they are in a loss. And so what I really want to talk about, my opinion is why does he have such a power over such a huge global market is what I don't understand. The whole point of crypto was to give people freedom and this doesn't seem like freedom this seems complete uh, this seems like the complete opposite thing people are looking up to him people are literally begging him on twitter whenever he tweets something people are begging him to do something to increase the price to take the price higher and to drive the price higher and just so people can make a little bit of profits now when he was doing the thing when he was doing this for doggy coin or dodge People were just so happy with Elon. He was the he was the hero that we didn't deserve, but we but we needed, and all that. But ever since he talked about how Bitcoin is consuming so much power and the fossil fuels, and the price crashed a little bit after that, people just turned against him, and he now he's the he's the villain, right? And now people are like, why does one single person have so much power over such a huge industry? And I agree with the people because nobody. Nobody should have so much power that literally the person tweets a few words and billions of dollars. Literally, crypto is right now it's in the market cap is in trillions of dollars. But looking at just looking at Bitcoin is a billion dollar market and he's able to control that. He's able to affect it, which is completely unfair. And I think that we shouldn't allow people. And he's very smart, right? Before he bought in before he bought into Bitcoin, he tested the waters a little bit and he would tweet about crypto and he would see what the results were of his tweets. And once he was able to see that he he literally he could control the market, if not control, then at least move the market. A single person was able to move the market. Then he bought into Bitcoin. And so even if he sells, even if Tesla sells a little bit of their Bitcoin worth a couple of million, let's say 100 million, 200 million, if anything, that shows the other big institutions and investment firms that Bitcoin is a market with a very huge liquidity. You are able to sell hundreds of millions of dollars worth Bitcoin at any price, at any point. And so that, if anything, that is going to bring in more money, more big money, more big investors, because that is letting them know that it is safe. You you can sell anytime and there will be buyers. They will buy from you no matter what, you know, the amount of money. And so this is just my opinion, right? Please let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about all of this, about Elon and uh, what you think the price is going to fall down to if it does continue falling like this. And uh, yeah, I'll be more than happy to see what people have to think about the hero of the world and uh, recently turned villain of course and uh, yeah I, I would also like to see what people think where the price is headed to in the future and uh, it'll be interesting I think to see all the opinions and yeah that's it hopefully you guys learned something from this video and I'll see you guys in the next video peace